talking about marriage and about remaining a virgin until you get married, okay? I know that it's hard. It's not an easy message, especially out there in this godforsaken culture in which we live. You know, it's not an easy message to carry out. But you know the key? You know what the key to keeping your daughter a virgin until she gets married? You know what the key is? You know what the secret is, fellow Catholics? I'm going to share this with you. Okay? I'm going to share this with you. The secret to keeping your daughter a virgin until her wedding day is simple. And I've got the secret. I've got the key. And I'm going to share it with you. Get a paper, a pen. Write it down. Write it down. Because it's important. Okay? And here it is. The secret to keeping your daughter a virgin until her wedding day is simply to keep her away from Mr. Bill Cosby. (laughs) Okay? Just keep her away from Mr. Bill Cosby. Okay? Because he might sneak in, you know, a little Spanish fly into her drink, into her uh, 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 breakfast cereal, Who knows how this guy does it, right? But he might drug your daughter, allegedly. Allegedly drug your daughter and take advantage of her before her wedding day. So the secret, the key to keeping your daughter a virgin before she gets married, right, or until she gets married, I should say, is to keep her away from Mr. Bill Cosby. Hey, hey, hey! Right? (laughs) I'm going to make myself cough. Keep her away from this dude. Okay? And we tried to tell you here at the Cafeteria Catholics many years ago. Many years ago, we tried to tell you. Tried to tell fellow Catholics here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky. Tried to warn local Catholic radio here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky. And, you know, it all started with Evening Among Friends, the scandalous fundraiser here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky. And you've heard me talk about this scandalous fundraiser <clears throat> that tramples upon our Catholic moral principles as Catholics. Evening Among Friends, concocted by Father James Sitchko, a local priest of the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky here. And we've talked about it. We have been on the forefront. We've been ahead of the curve, warning Catholics here locally in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky, that this is not a Catholic fundraiser. It is a scandalous fundraiser. It is a fundraiser that nails our Catholic moral principles to the cross. This is the type of fundraiser that it is it is not a catholic fundraiser it brings scandal to the diocese of lexington kentucky and we've raised our voices against and when i say our i mean me right but i like to include you in it because i know that there's many of you out there especially here in the diocese of lexington kentucky who disagree with this fundraiser and so i assume that I am speaking for more than just myself. And so, uh, the scandalous fundraiser, many of us here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky, we've been against it from the beginning. And we've raised our voices against this scandalous fundraiser that gets in bed with Hollywood and rolls out the red carpet for those who oppose, in one way or another, oppose our fundamental moral principles as Catholics. As you know, we've talked about it many times on the show here. Back in 2005, 2004, right around the time that Father James Sitchko rolled out this scandalous fundraiser, our bishops, the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops, put out a document wherein they stated the Catholic community and Catholic institutions should not honor those who oppose our fundamental 
moral principles as Catholics. They should not be given awards, honors, or platforms which would suggest support for their actions. Should not be given honors, awards, or platforms. And awarding a Catholic platform to an individual who opposes our fundamental moral principles in some way, this is an honor being bestowed upon them. And this is what has been taking place through Evening Among Friends for almost almost a decade, a, a decade, fellow Catholics, okay? And we, as I said, we have been at the forefront. And for this, we have been labeled fringe wackos by local Catholic media here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky, fellow Catholics. Fringe wackos. Or at least me directly. I am a fringe wacko for attempting to defend our Catholic moral principles. And I tried to warn local Catholic radio about Mr. Bill Cosby back in 2005, 2006, and I tried to avoid scandal in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky by sharing information with the local Catholic radio station here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky about uh, this civil lawsuit against Mr. Bill Cosby right at the time, right in the midst, right in the midst, I'm trying not to cough here, fellow Catholics, but right in the midst of the Mr. Bill Cosby appearance here through Evening Among Friends, I tried to warn local Catholic radio and shared information with them about the civil suit against Mr. Bill Cosby back in 2005-2006 in order that we might avoid scandal. Because we as a diocese here in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky, we ourselves, we underwent a period during the uh, homosexual sex abuse scandals within the church. We underwent a period here where we as a diocese were being sued for sexual abuse. Sexual abuse of minors in the Diocese of Lexington, Kentucky. And here we were, rolling out the red carpet for an alleged sexual abuser. And so I tried to warn local Catholic radio. Tried to warn them. And I was shunned. I was written off as a fringe wacko. And so this is not... It's not new to us here at Cafeteria Catholics. We've known about these alleged accusations against Mr. Bill Cosby for almost a decade now. And yet, how many more Catholic platform guests have we had through Evening Among Friends?